All right, let's see. Can we pickpocket something from Alvor? What you got on you, Alvor? Can I pickpocket that for- Shit, reload it, reload it! What's up, guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and oh snap, is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? But first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. Link is down there in the description. So, guys, happy Flippin' Tuesday and happy Independence Day, guys. That is right. Happy July 4th. That is right. So, guys, we're at the starting screen of the alternate start mod because I finally, finally reached a breaking point and it was like, you know what? I'm done trying to fix it. I'm done trying to, uh, done trying to remedy it. Um... I'm just gonna start a fresh one, and guys, I'm pretty pumped to start a new one. I'm actually very happy uh, that it happened and the way it happened and everything like that. As sad, it, as sad as it is that we have to say goodbye to the original Phoenix, I think we're gonna have a little bit more fun in this second Let's Play and stuff like that, guys. So definitely stay tuned if you enjoy Skyrim and if you enjoy all this fun stuff and you enjoy mods and everything like that because there's plenty more to come down the pipeline. But before we get started today, guys, with customizing our character I gotta give a massive massive shout out to every single person that commented on my update video where I was like well crap that's bad uh, because you guys came out in spades you guys took time out of your days to help me give me suggestions give me feedback give me support all of that stuff and guys Thank you so much for that. So, I gotta give a massive shout out to Adam Mata, Tortoise Gaming, Mata Adam, which, by the way, Mata Adam and Adam Mata, are you two brothers or something? <laughs> kind of kind of strange that both of you have similar usernames, but that's kind of cool. Thank you, nevertheless. Uh, Babylight35, Flash Fix, uh, let's see, we got After Hours Gaming, Starlord87, and Andrew Viner. So you guys came out in spades. Thank you guys so much for your support, your suggestions on how to fix it. Uh, although it did not work, I really, really appreciate all the help you guys gave me. I really, really do. So with that being said, you guys, I think it's time we start to customize Phoenix 2.0. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on that, shall we? So, I don't know if we want to do a Nord this time. We did a Nord in the last Let's Play, and Phoenix was an amazing, like, brutalitarian. Brutalitarian? He was a brutally, like, he just went around and brutally murdered everybody. He was the closest thing to Conan the Barbarian that you could, pro you could possibly get to. But, this time, this time I want to do something that is a little bit more familiar to myself. Back in 2011, I should say familiar. And that is kind of being sneaky. That's right, you guys. I don't want to be... I don't want to be an all-rounder. I want to be someone who focuses on light to medium armor that uses bows, maybe daggers, and maybe axes and maces and stuff like that. Um, but as far as the mods in the load order this time, guys... It's changed kind of drastically. I took out the uh, the Frostfall mod. I took out the I Need Food and Water mod. Um, it's very heavily uh, modded with the graphics mods, so a lot of it's going to look absolutely amazing. I went ahead and took out the, uh, the ASO uh, artistic one that I did the showcase on, mainly because as much as I enjoyed that mod and as much as I enjoyed looking at that, I don't know if I would enjoy playing the whole entire game in that art style. I'm not sure though. It might come back in the future because it's one of those mods that's safe to install and uninstall like halfway through and stuff like that because it's just it's just a texture mod. And so that might be a thing. But as far as the race that I want to play as, I'm not sure. So whenever I think of an archer, normally I think of an elf or a Khajiit. Now, Khajiits are normally the sneaky ones because they're the cats, they have night vision and all that stuff, and they're actually very, very good, like, thieves. And so, I think a Khajiit would be kind of fun to play as. It would be a very big change of pace for me, absolutely a big change of pace, uh, because really the only things that I've ever played as were elves, and I always spec'd them as uh, thieves. But, uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and play as a Khajiit. We're gonna be Phoenix again. We have to be Phoenix, duh. But let's see, do we want to be a male or a female? I think we have to stick with a male, just in case. But let's see, any any presets? Whoa, he looks freaking evil, dude. Holy Jesus. 
So let's see. I want to be like, oh god, he looks great. I don't like his mutton chops, but he looks pretty cool. <laughs> so I have a plan uh, to kind of bump us up. Ooh, I like that one. To kind of bump us up in the realm of experience and weapons and stuff like that, guys. Because, because we ended off the last Let's Play so drastically and just so like, boom, it's done. Because of all the mod crashes and stuff like that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump us up to level 41. Because that's where we were at um, when Phoenix, uh, when the last Phoenix got, like, toasted. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump some of those points into sneak, into bow, and all that stuff, into light armor, medium armor. And uh, we're just going to go from there. And uh, then as we get more and more stuff done with sneak uh, and bow and everything like that, we'll level it up and everything like that. And uh, we're going to continue to do some more mod quests, or some more quest mods, because I downloaded a couple, uh, I downloaded a couple quest mods that I'm really interested in doing, but let's see. Can't multitask. Let's see, can I take that facial hair off, or is that his actual hair? Okay, it looks like I can't take that off, but looks like we can customize it maybe this way. Let's, let's just go with that. Yeah, that looks good. And we'll name him Phoenix again. You know how it is. Yeah, we're not gonna name him Phoenix 2.0. We're not going. We're not gonna do that. Phoenix. There we go, guys. Perfect. Sweet. So good stuff. Started a second chance. Actually, it's yeah, it is a second chance for us, pretty much. All right, good stuff. So let's go ahead and activate the statue of Mara. Approach, my child, and okay. choose where your new life shall begin. All right, I'm a member of a guild, a patron at a local inn, soldier in the army. Let's see. So we're, I actually took out the vampire uh, mod, mainly because the vampire, as cool as it was in our last playthrough, uh, it was kind of annoying at times, and so I decided to just take it out. But let's see, that's what we started with in the first Let's Play, so let's do something different. Hmm, that one we're not gonna do, or should we? Should we start in the Thieves' Guild? Hmm... No, you know what? Let's be cheeky. I own property in one of the holds. Which property do you own? <laughs> and you know what? I'm going with Lakeview Manor. You know it. <laughs> the simple life has its own reward. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Approach, awesome. My child, and All right, so we're going to be homeowners in Falkreath. You know, the best... The be Wait, what? Sleeping is the last thing on my mind. Oh, wait. I guess I just reset it. Oops. Approach, my child. Uh, I own property. And choose where property your new life shall begin. Oh, God. There's so many voices. Okay, let's see. Lakeview Manor. The simple life can be its own reward. Yeah. There we go. Okay, now we can go to sleep, I think. There we go. Oh, home sweet home, guys. In our fully furnished, fully built, I think, uh, Lakeview Manor. How sweet is that, guys? <laughs> oh, sweet. Is there anything better than the home over in Lakeview Manor? It's just beautiful. So, one of the reasons why I wanted to live here is because I want to see some of those mods. I don't know if you actually have to have the house built itself or if you have to build the house itself, but whether or not that's the case, I'm not sure. But I want to see some of the uh, the Hearthfire mods because I have seen some of those been requested and some of those suggested as well as like seeing them browsed on the... Uh, uh, Bethesda.net and stuff like that, but let's take our first step outside into Skyrim and see the glorious nature And I'll show you guys the mod load order for yourselves, and uh, we can do a little bit of talking about that But look at it. Look at it in all of its beauty. Oh God, it's gorgeous So damn pretty god dang it dude over I, I've probably got over like 1200 hours logged in Skyrim now and it's still goddamn beautiful. I don't get it, man. Oh, man. Okay, so let's see. We need to reconfigure some of these audio settings because I'm sure it's a tad bit loud. Footsteps, we'll go ahead and put it half. Rain, wind, <laughs> and thunder. We need to go ahead and put those, like, down there. And let's see. We'll go ahead and put that right there and put that right there. And music, that's perfect. So, unfortunately, the music mod that we had on before is no longer, so I hope it comes back eventually, but as of right now, we'll just keep it right here. Oh, God, it's so beautiful. Okay, so let's check out the mod load order together, because I've had some suggestions as to how to set up your mod load order and um, ways to make it run the best. So, in the description, I'm actually going to go ahead and link the thing that I use 
to help me along in uh, setting up my load orders and stuff like that. It's a very comprehensive list. It allows you to kind of pick and choose what mods you want to have, and it allows you to um, follow it quite well. So as you can see at the top, you got the unofficial Skyrim patch with Campfire and Smim below that. And then you got your Skyland um, texture, landscape retexture, and then you got um, rebalance level lists. Then here is that space travel mod, Aethernautics. That's the quest mod that I installed, one of the quest mods that I installed, that I'm actually kind of curious to look at and uh, get started on. We're not going to get started on it right away, but it is here when, we're get, when, uh, when we want to start it. And then we got Vivid Weathers, Realistic Water 2, Project Hippie, Lush Overhaul, Rich Merchants, Less Aggressive Animals, same with Diverse Dragons and No Snow Under the Roof. Uh, it's a lot of the same mods that I plan on adding some more, uh, some more new ones as well. Uh, face Masks, Cloaks and Capes, Scoped Bows, Heavy Armory, Amulet of Shouting, all of this stuff. And then we have the Notice Board. This one is one that I'm actually really interested in and we're going to start today. And uh, it, it allows you to go into holds and stuff like that and retrieve, like, stuff from the notice board. So you remember from the the, uh, the last quest that we did, the Grey Cow one, how that notice board had, like, four quests on it? This is, like, the same one where you've got retrieve an item, gather ingredients, blacksmith materials, gather pelts, all that stuff, guys. It's, like, unlimited mods, and, or unlimited quests, and that's so cool. And then this is one of the new ones that I did. Because we're going to be thieves and assassins and all that stuff, I figured, you know what, we may as well get rewarded for it and uh, have, some more, uh, have some more stuff to do with it, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much my load order at the moment. You guys can copy that if you want. Um, but like I said, in the description, I'm going to leave a link uh, to a website slash Dropbox that will allow you guys to customize your, um, your load orders quite well. But let's see. We need to go to... Uh, let's see. Where do we need to go to? We need to go to the Standing Stones by Riverwood. So there's Helgen. Riverwood is like right here, I think. So let's go ahead and start heading there. Unfortunately, because this is a new game, <laughs> we don't have any of the places unlocked. So it's going to take a little while to get it all uh, get it all figured out. But guys, I will meet you over at the Standing Stones. Okie dokie. So I forgot I had to do a little bit of a pit stop before we got to the Standing Stones. But I just went ahead and got the skills that I wanted. Uh, I didn't go too, too crazy. I got my sneak skill and stuff like that up to level 50. Unfortunately, it doesn't affect the level of me. So I'm a level 1 with level 50 in lockpicking, pickpocket, sneak, and archery. <laughs> so don't know how that affects everything, but that's okay. And then I just automatically gave myself 100 smithing because the smithing, it's kind of annoying to have to level up. Uh, those of you that remember having to do the uh, Iron Dagger glitch will know it's kind of annoying to have to level up, but that's just kind of a, a quality of life thing that I don't like. We are not going to pursue two-handed uh, or block or heavy armor. What we're probably mostly going to pursue as far as like training and um, getting through like levels and stuff like that is one-handed archery, light armor, sneak, lockpicking, pickpocket, speech. We're gonna get into alchemy, uh, and then we're going to get into enchanting as well, because I really kind of want to get into that stuff. Uh, never in, like, my entire career on Skyrim, whether it was on YouTube or just playing for shits and giggles, never have I ever done alchemy or enchanting. And that's something that I've always kind of wanted to get into, just never had the time nor patience to do it. And so I figured, you know what, do it on YouTube and it'll keep you honest, you know? <laughs> so let's see. Let's go back to the original position. So luckily, when you start out as, like, a homeowner or something like that, or with any of those start out mods or start out things in the... the alternate start mod they start you off with a, a weapon so that's good but um the frame rate look at how good the frames are like it's running fairly well like fairly well i can definitely dig it but let's see let's go ahead and go ahead and get a save all right so the reason we had to come here is because of this right here had to get the cheat uh menu spell that way in the event of any sticky situation we have this uh ready for us but let's see cheating we'll go ahead and access it for the first time, it should save. There we go, saving before open menu. So all this does, for those of you that are joining me for the first time, uh, is it just allows you to like toggle god mode, collision, all that stuff, change the weather, which by the way, let's get a sunny day, shall we? <laughs> god dang it, look at that sun sparkle. So god dang beautiful, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and head into Riverwood and see whether or not 
that uh, that notice board is inside of Riverwood. I don't remember if it said anything about uh, specific holds or if they're the specific towns. Let's actually read the mod description together. I didn't actually look a whole lot into it, but I know that it sounded amazing. So I was like, give it to me. I want it. I want it in my life like right now. But let's see. Um, it was inspired by the games like The Witcher, Outside, Inns, and Every Town of Skyrim, and at Raven Rock and Solstheim. Check that out. Isn't that kind of nifty? All right, but first, we also have another thing. Let's see, we have this, the Lakeview Manor Charter. We don't really need that, but this, I think this is for the Aethernautics mod. Holy God. Uh, okay. Arnings, however, second mal- Oh, uh, holy Jesus, what the hell? Uh, and brief flow stops lead scouts to confirm our suspicions that Karstang's Beharn, a Dwemer Weather Witch, was still in operation following chrono- Yeah, okay, yes. This is the, uh, the Aethernautics mod. So, once we need to- Once we want to start that mod, we will go ahead and, uh, mess with that. But clearly, it doesn't give me a marker, so that's kind of unfortunate. But let's see. Let's go ahead and take that off of there. And let's head into Riverwood and see if we can't find- Oh, God. Oh, wait, yeah, I have the- the passive animal mod on, so that's good. <laughs> I about shat my pants. I was like, don't kill me! But we need to get a bow as fast as we can, because, I mean, as much as this iron spiked club is very cool, uh, we need to get a bow going so that I can practice my archery. I need to get back into the swing of things. But just look at the water. God dang it, dude. I love the fact that the real water actually makes it look super damn real. I mean, just look at that. God dang it, dude. It's so... Oh, it's so amazing. Oh, man. Dude, I'm actually really happy that we started over. I am super freaking pumped. All the new event all the new adventures we're gonna have, guys. It's so freaking awesome. We're gonna have so much fun. Alright, now let's see. Where is said notice board? Let me cheek. So it said, outside every inn. Where is the inn? Isn't this the inn right here? I think this is someone's house. No, that's a house, yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, this is the uh, general trader. I think this is the inn right here. Let's see. Oh, well, look at that! Oh, dude. Mercenary? Mercenary? No flipping way. I don't have to kill you people, right? Was she a vampire? Wait, are you a vampire? Stop running away from me. I want to talk to you. Wait, I want to talk to you. Are you a, are you a vampire? Stop it! Stop! Stop! Good afternoon. Hi. Oh, we'll never know. <laughs> okay, fine. Be that way. All right, let's check the notice board. Oh, there's two. Okay. It wasn't me, honest. I understand. Search messages. Oh my god, look at this. Do not go to Solajon's sinkhole. Okay, what do we got? It is full of walking living dead that will suck the soul right out of you just by looking at you. By the eight, it is a cursed place. I saw them with my very own eyes, and I barely made it out alive. Well, that sounds fun. Beware Ember Shard Mine. People of Riverwood, beware of Ember Shard Mine, as I believe it may be a hideout for people of ill repute. There has been an increase of activity near the old abandoned iron mine, and folks tell of increased assaults and robberies on the road just south of the mine. What with the Jarl's men being busy keeping the war off our doorstep, we cannot rely on any reinforcements from Whiterun this time. As your ranger, I take it upon myself to at least investigate if there is any truth to my suspicions about Ember Shard. Until then, I ask that you all stay away from the area for now for your own safety and warn any other outsiders of this as well. Hopefully this is nothing but a few wild animals using the warm mines as their lair, but we shall see. Dude, I feel like I'm back in The Witcher. This is cool. Okay, let's check the quest one. Dude, look at this. Look at the freaking quests. Okay, now question. As soon as I read one of these, is it going to give me a quest? Oh my god. Yes. That is badass. That is badass. Collect taproot. That's so damn cool. Collect gold ores. Dude, it's just giving me so many miscellaneous quests. Oh my god. Aaron Goth is looking for pelts. Oh baby. Oh baby. Okay, sweet. Well, let's go do some of this stuff. We need to get some money and we need to get some stuff fast in order to go out and hunt this stuff. Uh, like, actually hunt it. So, you know what? Hmm. How can we get some money fast? Hmm. <laughs> time to wait till night time. 
Alright, let's see. Can we pickpocket something from Alvor? What you got on you, Alvor? Can I pickpocket that for- Shit! Reload it! Reload it! Alright, how about round two, buddy? Huh? Oh, I took it this time! I, I didn't mean to do that this time! <laughs> Alright, we got a total of six gold! <laughs> oh god, I feel bad that I stole that from him. Hello there, chicken. How you doing? Let's see, can we break in? Oh, I don't have any lockpicks, I betcha. Nope, I don't have any damn lockpicks. <gasps> We're gonna have to come by our freaking money, honestly. You damn it! If you're looking Man, I don't want to come you. by my money, honestly. Okay, fine. Be seen. that way. But can we just take a second and admire how freaking beautiful the nighttime in Riverwood looks? Like, I don't ever remember it looking this damn good at night. God, this 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 mod is so freaking amazing, man. I love the fact that you can just you can just kind of do that. That's so cool. Okay, you know what? Hmm. I feel like we need to just go out and find a weapon, you know? We just need to go out and find something. So, you know what? Let's see. Explore Fort Graymore, buy lumber for building your house, gather taproot, collect gold ores, collect saber saber pelts. You know what? Hmm. I think we need to go out and, uh, actually, no, you know what? Let's go check out that mine real quick, because he said that there's probably something going on over at Ember Shard Mine, so let's go crack some skulls, you know? Let's go crack some skulls, maybe grab a bow and arrow, and um, then we can sufficiently and effectively hunt some saber tubes, and uh, then we can call it a day for the first episode, guys. Alright, good stuff. So I believe we are at the mine's entrance. Indeed we- oh, hello there, big boy. <laughs> How y'all doing? Y'all ready for a party? <laughs> I'ma smack you in your little face. Don't make me do it. I'ma set you on fire. Sorry about your bad luck there, buddy. Alright, good stuff. What do you got on you? I'll take some of that. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now it's time to dual wield, mother trucker. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and put on some more armor. Hide boots. That'll work. Ooh, Ring of Minor Sneaking. Hello. I'll take it. And studded armor. I will definitely take that. Okay, am I wearing clothes? Oh, baby, we're looking like a sneak thief. <laughs> oh, baby, we are looking like a sneak thief now. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and dual wield. Uh, wait, where are my thingies? Ah, they were not favorited. That's why. Iron Spiked Club. Oh, man, we're gonna smack some heads with these shits. <laughs> All right, let's head into the mine. All right, good stuff. Let's grab a torch just in case. I did, in fact, keep the campfire mod in because I did love that mod. I did love that mod. What are you, stupid? I did love that mod, and I still do love that mod. But let's see. Hello there, Tripwire. You don't think I know what you are? Man, I've been dropping those things behind my ass for, like, the rest of that Let's Play. All right, let's see. Just keep taking all these torches. Torches are good. You can sell torches, too. <laughs> all right, good stuff. Oh, bandits. More bandits. But not enough people. Not enough. <laughs> oh, shit. I just freaking knocked his lights out. Oh, my God. All right, wait. Stop floating away. I got it. All right, we'll go ahead and take some of those and take some of those. <laughs> oh man, it feels so damn good to be so low level again. I don't know why, it just feels so damn good. All right, let's see, let's go ahead and equip some fur bracers, some fur shoes, there we go. Actually, wait, we need some of those. And let's see, we can go ahead and drop those, drop those. I don't think we need those, we, need, we don't need those, and we certainly don't need those. We're not gonna need that. I can sell that though. Wow, that sells for 533. How the hell did I get all this jewelry? And I'll keep that and we'll sell that. Perfect. We're looking like a regular old sneak thief. I can definitely dig that. Good stuff. We'll take some of that. I'll need to get up. Uh, never mind. I was going to say I'll need to get a pickaxe, but I already found one. All right. Good stuff. Nice sleeping roll. Okay. <laughs> the faster we can find a bow and arrow, the happier I will be. Night vision on. This is the perks of playing as a Khajiit, guys. You don't need to be a vampire to have night vision. <laughs> oh, snap. There's a tattered journal. What do we got? I'll take it with me. 
thanks for your... Oh, God. That was a little bit strange. All right, let's see. Anywhere else to go inside of here? I heard someone clanking. We need to drop this drawbridge. I don't know how, though. Aha! Sneaky little bastard. Drop. There we go. Nailed it! Hi there. How you doing there, buddy? You did. You had three. I'm standing right in front of you! Oh, I missed him. Well, that's unfortunate. Ow. 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 Stop it. Oh, that's a big axe. Time to run. Hi there. How are you? You weren't expecting a dual-wielding cat, now were ya? Time to die! Ow. Oh, am I fighting myself? There we go, now you're dead. Now you're dead. Alright, good stuff. So I don't think I can carry, like, that battle axe, let alone two. He's got a steel maul. That I could probably take. Oh, I can carry 400 pounds. What the hell am I talking about? The hell are you talking about? Good stuff. I will take all of that and sell it at a much larger profit. Alright, good stuff. Oh, hello, giant chest. <laughs> I'll take all your gold, too. Thank you very much. Spell Tome Clairvoyance. I will take that. Search your sack. Thank you. <laughs> that sounds nasty as shit. Alright, let's see. Oh, someone sees me. Oh, he found me. I've been found out. God, I'm so amazing. You know, that's another thing I've never done is dual wield. All right, we got, the, we got the key. Oh, bone mold gauntlets. That's pretty nice. I would take that if I wasn't trying to build an archer character. I'll unlock that door. Thank you very, very much. And what do we got inside of here? Anything good? Holy shit, dude. Oh, we got some arrows. Good. I'll take all that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God, I love that mod. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all this great stuff. Oh, look at it all. Okay, that's pretty good armor. Thank you for all- Oh, look at this baby! Ho 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 ho! Steel War Axe, Iron Axe of Souls, Iron Hatchet Dude. We're going to have so much money, and it's only from the first freaking dungeon. <laughs> oh, it's awesome, guys. Sweetness! Alright, let's see. Anybody in here? Uh, looks like perhaps a jail cell. Sounds like there's one more guy inside of here. Perhaps the bandit chief? Perchaps? But you know what? Since we got the iron bow, or the iron arrow, and the long bow, let's go and equip that bad boy and let's see if we can't take this sucker out. What you doing, boy? Time to die! You moved, you son of a bitch! Huh! Kill it! Yeah, I'm amazing! <laughs> I still got it! Okay, what you doing? What do you think? Where the hell you think you're going, sweetheart? Hmm? Nailed it! Hello! Goodbye! <laughs> In your freaking throat! <laughs> oh, damn it, guys. I love this shit. Why did I take a shovel? I don't understand why I just took a shovel. Alright, good stuff. So, let's see. Did we clear it? Ember Shard Mine has been cleared. So, looks like I found where I'm staying the night, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of the second Let's Play uh, let me go ahead and say this. I'm going to keep it inside of the, uh, the the Skyrim Let's Play like playlist on my channel. That way, when you guys uh, go to watch it, if you want to, if you like want to watch it one after another, uh, you can just watch it in the same playlist. No need to go to a different playlist. I always hate it. I always hate it when I have to go to like different playlists uh, to watch a certain series. So I'll just keep it in the same playlist for you guys. But I had a ton of fun uh, building this character so far, and guys, this is only the first episode of the second Let's Play, so I, I can't wait for the rest of it, guys. So I hope you guys are ready for it, and I can't wait for the adventures that we're going to have with our Khajiit Phoenix, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button, and subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.